and it is about the second to last act in the DSTV Premiership season for 2021. This is the penultimate match. It's a final home match for Kaiser Chiefs, but it has been hardly one that you could call a home sweet home. It has been a difficult season for the mighty Amakosi, and it could still end even on, on a more bitter note if they don't results don't go their way and they manage to secure a place in the top eight. It is out of their hands. Well, but what they can do is focus on winning their matches and then hope for the best. A very good evening uh, to you from a very cold FNB Stadium. Lots uh, to update you on as uh, we keep our tabs on the uh, results around the country. I can tell you that uh, thus far there haven't been any goals uh, in any of the matches. Uh, flag has stayed down here and a chance here. Bumas done well. Excellently to deny Mutizwa who sprung that offside trap. That's where he's going to be dangerous. Not Mutizwa. But Bruce Vuma, not for the first time in the game, has come to the rescue for Kaiser Chiefs. Great ball over the top there. And uh, uh, Mutizov is slightly disappointed that he couldn't uh, place that either side of uh, Bruce Vuma. Could be something on here for Arrows, yeah. Still alive, yeah, and a chance. Bruce Vuma again. Did that go over the line? The flag was up from the assistant to signal a goal. Bruce Vuma. Zeroics couldn't keep it out this time. It's been scrambled over the line, and it's arrows that take the lead. Well, spare a thought for this uh, fella here because uh, he has done so much to keep Chiefs in this game up to now, but there's li little he could do about it here at the Comunista. Yeah, with that break, you can see that, uh, you know, Zoom or Vuma here trying to make a save, and then it's unfortunate because now Matoho is the one that actually cleared that ball over the line, and it, it, it bounces back as well to an attack, and then he was able to finish off with his head, and it's one of those moments where Golden Arrows will forever be dangerous on the breaks, and the Kizzi Chief needs to be very, very aware of that. And it comes in, uh, Mwana drops it, uh, and they're still alive here, the Chiefs can't get it over the line. Well, what a letter play for Arrows uh, and for Luan. Uh, really, he a sigh of relief there because uh, he dropped the ball there. And he gets away with the Chiefs. Couldn't uh, find, couldn't scramble that one home. And uh, the one for Golden Arrows potentially. Yeah, uh, they came into this game on 46 points. And uh, if they can get maximum points, that's a great run from Katsate! And a great finish! Wonderful work! What an assist by Willard Katsate! And they're all squared! Little Hanfu Kwez and Little Hanfu Yama rather. It was that uh, applied the finishing touches. But credit to Mujisere to the big man Katsate. Willard Katsate, you know, going through, you know, players. And, and, and you, you look at this. You no, know, he, he gets onto the ball. And then he had one thing in mind, I need to get inside the box. And here he brings his, uh, the cross there with Lebu, you know, being free, they uh, be able to pounce and, and, and get an equalizer. I think for, for Katsande, who's expected to be in the midfield doing all those tackles, being there inside the different box and creating a goal, that's wonderful to see. But here come Arrows again, only one minute to be added on. Chance for Arrows maybe to finish with a flurry here. Yeah! Oh my word! Another chance goes the begging. They open him up again and set it up from Tizwa. Well, you would have put your house on him scoring there. It was not an easy one, admittedly, but uh, had to take it first time. That bounce, you know, and also credit to, to, to Vuma. So he makes himself big and makes things very difficult for, for Matizo as well to be able to, you know, not able to actually choose a spot where he can put the ball in. One for Golden Arrows, only four defeats all season. Even if they lose their final two matches, as you see this one in. Oh! What a spectacular old goal! Just as I'm speaking about, there are only four losses now that could be on for another victory in a rare victory on the road against Chiefs. Oh, it's an own goal! I think it's Matron that had the last touch there. What happens here at the Look, um, with 
with the lack of communication and also, you know, given the fact that there was a good ball being played in a very dangerous area. And of course, for Matoho, you know, wanting to challenge for the ball, but also he's going backwards. So it's very difficult to play that ball. And that's where actually you'd be hoping that Vuma will come out and, and call for the ball and, 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 and be able to catch the ball. It's just an unfortunate situation where as a defender, you want to go for that ball and be able to clear it out. Amazulu cementing their place at the moment in second. Could be a chance here for teams to equalize and they've got it. And it's a, it's a praise from Ayama. Well worked. Well worked, goals. Uh, Tries to have come from behind. As he makes it seven for the campaign. Now the outright leading goal scorer for Chiefs. Yes. Level Hamayama has overtaken Leonardo Castro. That's a great finish. That's a beautiful finish that uh, we saw the keeper was, we knew the keeper was going to go down and just uh, clipped it over the keeper. Plan Zulu gets it away. Norkovic combining with Castro. Good work here from uh, Castro. Mayama is calling for it. He's on a hat trick. Rather. It's in Nova on the ball. Nova plays it to Mayama here for the hat trick. Oh! oh, oh! 